But first of all, let's get off to that third division game between Brentford and Watford. The V's against the Hornets, in fact, the nicknames which really suggest something a bit special, which is just the way it turned out to be, as we join the 13,800 crowd in the ground. Griffin Park, Brentford, not a ground we see often, but one that saw first division football just before and after the Second World War, a pleasant, compact stadium, some 30,000 fans can get under cover here, where in the post-war years men like Tommy Lawton played, Ron Greenwood was also a Brentford player, so was Jimmy Hill, and this year the club celebrates its 90th anniversary. Today we celebrate the fact that two prolific goal scorers of recent times are in opposition. For Brentford, Steve Phillips, 36 goals last season, the best in the country, but only two so far this season, and Steve claims that the woodwork has been hit ten times by him. And for Watford, Ross Jenkins. Well, he's doing this season what Steve did last. He's already hit 30 goals, and indeed he was a junior here at Griffin Park. Here then is the Brentford side today. Things have been looking up for them in the last few weeks. Jackie Graham is their long-serving captain. The number two, Dennis Salmon, was in the England under-21 squad for the postponed match in Holland this week. The number four, Jim McNichol, is a Scottish under-21 man. And the striker, Andy McCulloch, is formerly of Queen's Park Rangers and Oxford. Watford, well, the names here are becoming familiar after that brilliant run through to the semi-finals of the League Cup. Luther Blissett along with Ross Jenkins, the star of the show, though of course it's been a good all-round team effort that has taken the club to the top of the third division. Referee today is Clive Thomas from Porth Call in Wales, and the crowd, well it looks like Brentford's best of the season. So Brentford in the stripes of red and white and black shorts get us away, attacking the goal to our right, Watford in yellow shirts with red shorts, the fourth meeting between uh, the two clubs this season. They met twice in the League Cup and once in the League already, and Watford have won on every occasion so far. In the smooth there. This is Alan Garner with the throw for Watford, who've lost only one of their last 17 League games. It's also... Uh, worth mentioning that Brentford after a really desperate start to the season have not been beaten in their last six but they haven't been scoring that many goals their last home game here though was a notable 1-0 victory against uh, promotion contender Swansea so things are looking up for the bees a little bit in the last few weeks Ray Trey now for Watford finding Ian Bolton now playing in the midfield for Watford Keith Pritchard who used to be here at Brentford number three for Watford a long ball on the far side and not it behind in fact there by Barry Tucker for a Watford court. To be taken by Keith Pritchett. And of course the man that uh, Brentford will have to watch in these situations the whole time is this giant of the number nine, Ross Jenkins, who's right on that goal line. That's hit in low, in fact, into the side of him. seasons here as a junior before he signed for Crystal Palace and then went on to Watford, Ross Jenkins. Phillips. The little ball played for Paul Shrub. Salmon under pressure from Blissett. Blissett. He's got 23 goals this season. Amazing to think that he and Jenkins between them have scored 53 goals. But here's Salmon then with the free kick for Brentford. Jenkins up there to get it away. Shrub putting it back gently into the arms of Sherwood.
as the uh, it was certainly inside the area and as we can see there it was certainly handball a chance to go to the Keith, Keith Pritchett a former Brentford player now with a chance to put Watford ahead if he can get it past Lenford Planted very deliberately there by the left back Keith Pritchett. And uh, that puts Watford into the line. Brentford nil, Watford one. With a handball by Jim McNichol. And Garner and Sturt, I think, probably getting in each other's way a little bit there. And Garner, in the end, forced to concede the corner. Cruz coming up for this one, the big central defender. And Jim McNichol up as well. And Garner there. So Brentford corner nodded back nicely there. Now will it fall for a Brentford player? It might fall. In fact, it was hit by Jackie Graham and it might go anywhere in indeed. Jackie Graham with this corner for Brentford. Look deep again there. Oh, was right in there and Smith was in there. And now here's Graham again with a chance to turn it in. And claims for a handball there on the end of the box. And uh, I certainly got the impression there was a handball. I don't think it was inside the penalty area. Referee looking at the linesman. The linesman saying, no, no nothing doing. Jenkins on the train. Now for Pollard. Tucker getting in and playing it neatly. as though we have the makings of it. Steve Sims nodding it forward. Now, perhaps, nicked in again by Smith. Hit first time by Shrub. Why is it over? Okay. That was okay for Shrub. Well, <laughs> that's not a problem that the players have had for quite a long time now. A bit of sun in, the eye, in their eyes. Good one. 